Hey, Reggie, Phil here, kicking off the self-defense videos for you. Uh, today we're going to start off with talking about the, the rule of RAD. Recognize, avoid, and defend. Recognize the situation if possible, avoid it at all costs, and then the last resort is always obviously to use your defending techniques. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the attacks these days are done on a surprise uh, type scenario, so being able to recognize it may not be the, the easiest option, but they're the three options that we want to try and work through if we're at school, walking from our car or at work. We want to try and recognize, keep your eyes up, uh, avoid the bad situation, and then if needed, use your defense. So to kick off um, self-defense sort of 101, I suppose we want to make sure that we have a really good stance. Now, our stance should be sort of dominant foot back, I suppose. Dominant foot back. In, in any situation, whatever foot comes back, it doesn't really matter, but ideally your dominant foot back your hands, if you're communicating with the person and it's not like uh, you know, you're talking to your friend, it is actually probably looking like it's going to escalate, we sort of want to be on an interview stance with our hands, so elbows up above our belt line. The next level stance would be to take our hands from an interview stance into a bit of a, a low ready, so our palms are facing forward. The next level, which is the higher threat, well, it's going to happen and it's looking like this guy might push or punch me, my hands come into a high ready, covering my face. The reason we want our hands up high is that if something does happen, the time that it takes for me to react is a long time from when my hands are down. So from here, time and distance isn't too bad. From here, a little bit better, and obviously if the, the level of threat is escalated high, my hands will be in the high ready position. So once you're in a good stance and you're working through your positions, well, I suppose what is a good distance? I'm going to use a Terence here to work on an appropriate distance when in a situation. Some people may think that being you know, a fist away, well, this is definitely not a good position to be in. Um, it's taking a step back. This looks like a pretty safe uh, position, but if Terence lunged in and did a big punch, it would take a very fast reaction to be able to block this, this uh, attack. So ideally, if Terence moves back, the best position would be we're one arm away, we take two steps. This is actually the safest distance to be in if you're thinking like the threat's going to go to a violent situation. Although it's a long way, if Terrence does start rushing in in, a, in an angry or violent manner, it gives me a chance to react and move back. So, three steps basically. We've got one arm, less, uh, one arm distance, sort of two and a half steps back is a safe distance. The key to any self-defense is creating time and distance to react. The more time and distance you have, the better chance you are to get out safely. Stay tuned and we'll show you what happens next if you are startled and how to defense against that uh, surprise attack. Thanks guys.